Hey guys, and welcome back to a weekly vlog. I have just filmed four hair tutorials for you guys. So yeah, kickstarted my Monday very, very well. And now I'm going to edit them. I am absolutely freezing. If you could feel my fingers right now, they're literally ice cold. It's like minus one degrees outside. And I just feel like my heating is just not working. <laughs> my heating bill for December as well was a ridiculous amount which was not good so um yeah not fun it was a lot more than we expected but because i work from home I, I need to keep warm it's so cold i have to have the heating on pretty much all day long it's not great um but yeah i'm going to edit the video now and then i've got a guy coming around the new house at one for a chat and to look at the house and little bits and bobs that I want done. He's kind of like a handyman and he's gonna give me some quotes, which is great. And fingers crossed, the wallpaper in my office will be up today. I'm so excited to see it. You had a little sneak peek in last week's vlog, but fingers crossed today, it's all gonna be finished. So, just had to pause from editing. I'm gonna go to the new house now and meet this handyman and also see how my decorator is getting on because it's the last day he's there today. So fingers crossed he's finished or nearly finishing my office. <laughs> Oh my god guys did you see the sneaky peek of my office I'm literally in love my decorator has just posted on Instagram a video of the finished office it looks unreal I'm so happy with it it is exactly what I wanted the wallpaper looks amazing I yeah I'm so pleased I originally was gonna do the wallpaper all the way to the ceiling above the picture rail but my decorator advised me not to because I didn't realize but in that room I've not got any coving around like the top of the wall joining the wall to the ceiling so he was like it's not your wallpaper is not going to be dead straight so he was like either get coving or I advise you to just go up to the top of the picture rail and not above it so I was like, do you know what, let's just go to the top of the picture out. And I was a bit gutted, I thought, oh, I don't know if it's going to look as good. But you know what, I'm so glad I only went to the top of the picture out and not above it. Because it looks so clean. I think it needed, a, like, the wallpaper is actually quite bold. Even though it's quite plain, there's not much of a print going on. It's quite simple palm leaves. Because I've got it everywhere, I feel like having that white, section above the picture round and the white ceiling you've got the white doors it really kind of just i don't know like it just really works together and kind of adds something else to it and yeah just it looks really really good and i'm really happy with my little mint green kind of arch colored archway uh, as like a little feature i think that works really well yeah i'm so pleased i have shown before and after pictures on my sophie hannah home instagram so do check that out and yeah i will go back to the house in a couple days and film snippets of the whole room so keep watching um i will be doing a full video on the office anyway once it's all finished but i will go and film some more of the wallpaper and show you because obviously I only did little snippets today because only half of it was done but now it's all done yay Robin is on his way home from work I've just finished up for the day it's like half seven I finished editing all my videos from today I've just done some emails which is good I've updated the outfit section on my blog post I've updated the outfit section on my blog on my website which is great so you can shop all my latest outfits from instagram that i post on my blog and yeah and then we're gonna go food shopping tonight because it's monday night and that's what we do every monday go food shopping just need to have a little think about what meals we fancy this week got a little sausage on me as always oh he's so cute look at the little fat paw <laughs> so we just had nachos for dinner 
did a bit of food shopping, didn't we? Yeah. And now we are chilling on the sofa with the dogs. Shadow's tired. Well, I'm not. No, Robin's <laughs> not on the sofa because it's not big enough. But wait till we get our new house. And we are watching Hunted on TV. I would love to go on it. I'm going to be so good trying to get away from the police. You'd last five minutes. I don't think I would, you know. Away from the dogs? I would last. But you only got to last 24 hours. What would you do? I don't know what I'd do. I Didn't would... you say you'd hide in a bin? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said I would find... I, I know, I said I would put a wig, different colour wig on. You need to explain what the programme's about. People know what Hunted is. Not if they're American. Oh, yeah, OK. So basically, it's a TV show where people, either on their own or with a friend, have 24 hours and they have to... They're basically... Um, the police are after them and they're on the run. And you've got to be on the run for 24 hours. And if you don't it's get a game, caught, it's a game, it's a game show. show. Yeah, if you don't get caught, you win 100. You win part of 100 grand. And there's 10 people or 10 couples of people <clears throat> that do it. And you you can go anywhere. And you get one person to pick to help you escape. So you get dropped off in the middle of the city. So I probably pick like a friend of a friend or someone or Robin to escape and help me escape. And I think I would change my hair so I'd put on a different wig to distract them. To be honest with you, I think I'd dress up as a boy, I'd get like a short wig, I'd put moustache on, and I'd change my appearance completely and wear boy clothes. Mm. And then I'd probably either sleep rough for the night under a random bridge somewhere, or I would, I don't know, maybe go find a boat or something, sleep on a boat. I don't mm. really know. It's hard really, but sounds fun. So we're just watching this show and the, this guy has been off the grid on the Hunter TV program for 10 days. I thought they had to be, they had 24 hours to run away from them. And hide. And hide. And he's been on the run for 10 days. So how many days is it? I'm never doing a show. It's a bit rubbish, really. That's not rubbish. That's mental. Yeah, You've got how to go on the run for that long. Yeah, I was thinking... That's crazy. Because the guy's like, oh, yeah, I need to get rations. He's got a and baby I'm thinking, and everything. I'm thinking, for 24 hours, you need yeah, rations. Yeah, rations. And, and also, hours, when the right? girls were like, oh, we slept for eight hours, I'm thinking, well, that's great. Then you've just knocked off so, yeah, a lot of your time. Hours left. How long is it then? Morning, guys. So it's now Tuesday, and I've just filmed three Instagram beauty videos for you guys. I did faux freckles how I do my wing eyeliner and this new mascara product that I found which is absolutely amazing. I will tell you about it right now. It is the YSL mascara that is a primer. So it looks pink. It is called Mascara Volume Effect Flash Primer. Let me just open it up. So this is it here. It looks pink but it doesn't really come out pink. It comes out kind of like, it kind of, to me it feels like a bit like glue, like a glue primer. It kind of really pushes up your lashes, separates them like so well. And yeah, I've got it on right now and my lashes look insane. But you put this on and then you put a mascara over the top. But yeah, highly recommend it. I'll put the link below. So I got an exciting delivery today from Huda Beauty. Oh my God, let's have a look. What have we got? What have we got it's in the box? Ooh. Well, one bag. Oh my god. Two bags. Oh my lord. Ooh. And a box. For your eyes only. Right, well, this is an insane amount of Huda Beauty products, so thank you so much. I'm going to have a little rummage through and see what I've got. We've got. Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. They look cool. Oh wow, we've got lashes. Lip strobe. Oh, highlighter palette. More lashes. Ooh, this brush looks good. More metal shadows. They look amazing. Some more lip strobes. Oh, liquid matte. Oh, lip liners. Oh, my God, I'm in heaven. So, in this little diamond box, we've got Huda Topaz Obsessions. Is there more? To oh, my Lord, I've got loads of them. Wow. Oh, my God, it opens up like this. Oh, my Lord. 
Oh, wow. These look unreal. I've been wanting to try these for ages, especially these two. Oh, my. Yes, look at the lime. Oh, my God. I've been gifted the nude, the new nude palette. My sister's got this. It looks so, so good. It's unreal. Look at these like crystally kind of glitters. <laughs> it looks a bit thick. <sighs> so nice. I also got sent this little hair net and this dressing gown. How cute. I'm all wrapped up warm because I'm about to head outside and it's friggin' freezing. I'm gonna pop to the new house and shoot the office and show you guys a little snippet of what it looks like and take some sort of clips of it and photos for my blog posts and stuff when I do those when it's all finished to show you the progress. I'm going to drop off one of my Print Club London prints and then I need to go to the post office so I've got a few errands to run. just got home what do we think of my office wallpaper oh my god it looks so nice like so nice i love the wallpaper with the white accents of the door frames and the doors and even the radiator and the skirting boards and everything and i love 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 the little green arch feature bit of my room with the cupboard under the stairs it's so nice yeah it's amazing. I'm so loving it. Cannot wait to get the flooring in and then start putting furniture in. I'm so excited. Are you ready for the vets? Are you ready? You're going to check your paw? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Shadow's back from the vets, aren't you? <laughs> Look at how you're sitting. <laughs> are you doing okay now? Yeah. You had an injection though, didn't you? And your kennel cough. Not good. You didn't like it. So I just made this creamy garlicky prawn tagliatelle and yeah, sort of made it up. And it tastes really freaking good. Mmm. Morning guys, I hope you're well. It is now Wednesday and I just got up and filmed this makeup tutorial with some of the goodies I got from Huda Beauty yesterday. And yeah, I'm also wearing this amazing bodysuit from French Connection. How nice is this? I love the sort of mesh detailing, like fishnet kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to edit the video now and then I'm going to change my lipstick colour, I think. I might put a blue one on. I just got a delivery from Anastasia Beverly Hills and there was a blue lip. So I feel like I might put that on to match the blue as. And um, yeah, and then I'm off to London, so I need to find an outfit and head off and take a suitcase with me. I'm going to New Look for some gifting, which is amazing. Also Levi's, I'm going to see my management and then I'm going to a Skinny Dip Tangle Teaser event tonight and dinner with Paige and Charlotte. So a really lovely day out in London. Just need to get this video edited first and then I can get going. Just edited my video and got changed and I'm ready for London. I'm all wrapped up warm, got my Baker Boy hat on and I'm wearing this new dress from French Connection how nice is it it's this really nice kind of floaty animal print dress i really like the fact that it's like kind of like a darky brown animal print and then the top i don't know if you can see i've layered that mesh body underneath because i think it looks quite edgy it's got really nice like frill sleeves i'll shoot it soon so you guys can properly see what it looks like but yeah that was a sneak peek for now i'll pop a link below if you do want to check it out um i'm gonna try and shoot today in london but if not I am shooting with Robin on Thursday because it's finally off work and yeah I'll shoot it then for you guys to see, pop it on my Instagram, but yeah for now let's go to London. Just finished 
packed everything in it and I'm off to my next meeting. We've got some really, really good bits though here, so definitely come and check it out. guys i just got home from london it's like midnight oh had a long long day there today but it was really good so i went to new look and picked some pieces out for my wardrobe they had some amazing bits in there so honestly do go to the store and check it out they've got some really really cute pieces um and then i had this meeting at my work i basically just went in and spoke to all the pr girls about influencers and what we like and dislike just to kind of give them a little bit of an insight when they're doing like pr emails and send outs and gifting yeah and just kind of like a little bit of advice on what we kind of you know like uh when we get gifted things like what we like and like for example i don't like packaging because then i have to receive cycle loads and just things like that so that was really helpful to them and then I went to Levi's and I got gifted some bits and pieces their gifting suite is insane it's so nice and then I went to the skinny dip tangle teaser event so tangle teaser have collaborated with skinny dip and created three detangling brush designs we have got a tiger which is my fave which if you saw earlier you would have seen that I got a tiger printed on my nail to match the brush how cute is that so we've got the tiger one we've got a llama one for Luna Luna loves this can be Luna's brush she hates llamas she hates llamas you know the llama on the TV advert is it what is J2O. it J2O TV advert Luna barks every time the llama comes on it's hilarious the singing llama. and the last one is a peach so yeah, really, really cute design. Like bomb emoji. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. On the go, detangling hairbrush. Love these. You need one in your life. So yes, yeah, so that was nice meeting up with the Tangle Tees and Skinny Dip Girls and going to their event. And yeah, then I went for dinner with Paige and Charlotte and we spent like three hours catching up, which was really good, really nice. But now I'm tired and, and I'm off to bed. Up. Yeah, you picked me up. Um, got to go to bed because tomorrow we've got hopefully the electricians and a plumber coming to the house to do some work. Finally, hopefully we're going to get the plug sockets and the lighting in the living room, bedroom, small bedroom at my office. Morning guys, it is now Thursday and I am about to shoot a makeup tutorial for Instagram using the new... Huda Nude Palette. Cannot wait to try it. I'm also loving these earrings. I got them yesterday from New Look. How fab are they? They're a bit heavy, but they're so fab, so I don't even care. Uh, yes, yeah, so exciting. So basically, we've got electricians around the house today, and we've also got a gas guy there. So he's sorting out all the gas pipes and everything and putting them in place, ready for when the council and the gas people dig up the road and hook us up to the gas because we've got oil and we don't want oil. We've got this huge tank in the garden and it's just gross and we want an extension and stuff for the kitchen, so it needs to go. So yeah, we're getting to gas, um, which is more convenient for us and yeah electricians are putting up all the lights so well not all of them the lights in the living room the master bedroom the spare bedroom and my office and they're putting in all the gold plug sockets and light switches so i'm so excited hopefully later on today they'll be finished and i'll get to show you and we'll have light in some of the rooms in the house Yay! 
for now i'm gonna film this tutorial here is a sneaky peek of the makeup look i just did and i'm so pleased it looks so fab and sparkly really really love that huda nude palette it is so nice the colors are so pigmented and the glitter is amazing and the shimmer and <sighs> delicious now i need to edit the video so we just popped out to this bathroom place and I annoyingly forgot my memory card. I bought my camera, opened it up to vlog and I was like, shit, left it in my computer because I was editing earlier. But we went to this bathroom place called Graham. They only stock bathroom stuff. They don't actually do bathroom fittings. However, they gave us some numbers for plumbers. We're just having a bit of a struggle with plumbers and bathroom people uh we've been waiting for two months now um for a quote from one guy who sounded amazing and you know really sounded like he knew what he was talking about and we were really pleased you know with him and how and our sort of consultation with him but we've been waiting two months for a quote and i really want to go with him but it's worrying me now so i'm gonna try and find alternatives in the meantime and then hopefully i'll have a few quotes and be able to decide because i tried to get quotes last year and only ended up getting quotes well attempted to get quotes from two people one i'm still waiting for the other one i did get a quote but it was a bit too much so i just sort of left that um, and then i phoned five other plumbers and they never bothered coming around to quote me so frustrating but i've got a list of numbers and i'm gonna give them a ring also in this uh bathroom place they had a showroom for heritage bathrooms and i love 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 the pieces on heritage it's very victorian it's keeping in line with the theme of our house and when it was built and yeah we kind of want to go for like a modern victorian kind of vibe and they have some amazing pieces they've got gold i really want gold fixtures and fittings as in like the taps and the toilet flusher and the toilet holder and things like that so i've got a brochure to have a little look through and also whilst we were there i discovered another bathroom company called imperial and oh my god they have the most amazing sink it is a shell sink it is the shape of a shell then you've got like you know where you put like um your soap holder like your soap on the side it's got shell like engraved in the side so you can hold like it holds your soap it is so cool i took a picture on my phone so i'll show you it on my phone can we see this can we see the little shells here and then the shape of the shell around the sink is honestly so cool i want this sink we've also discovered that they do a range of black bathroom suites so the this one is the radcliffe here robin loves it and Robin really, really wants to get the black for our wet room because it is friggin' cool. So we're going to have a little look into that collection to see the prices and stuff and whether it's doable because now we're kind of thinking maybe we change our whole mind on the wet room. We've got navy tiles already and wood floor tiles from Tops Tiles, which is amazing. So thanks so much for sending me those. But I need a toilet a sink and a shower still so now we're thinking do we get black and then do like navy with black grout or something i don't know we need to have a think we have light in our house also this is a cute backdrop for filming oh yeah cute oh well, we've got lights in our house and we've got ceiling roses up and it's so good it feels so much more homey now just by putting lights up which is ridiculous but yeah, I'm going to show you a little sneaky peek of them. No, it's not a sneak peek. This is it. So this is my light in my office. It is from Lipsy at Next. It is this cute pink tassel light with fringing. It's so sweet. Also, here is the ceiling rose. So we've got this from B&Q. It was £15. It's made of like this foam stuff. But how nice. It's like yeah, how nice does it look? This is better lighting now. Change the setting on my camera. All a bit bright, but yeah, it's so nice. Now to the living room. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are. This is our shell chandelier all the way from Greece. Robin's mum got it. I'm just trying to alter the settings on my camera. So 
we can see it. Here it is. It's amazing. So we've got these beautiful orange shells. Focus. And yeah, it looks amazing. It's got like dangly seashells at the bottom here and then it's got like a few tears going up and it is so nice and matches our orange sofa which is currently covered in loads of stuff. Um, but yeah, it matches our sofa. It looks amazing. We're in the bedroom now and this is our bedroom light. My favourite. Oh, it's Robin's favourite. I can't remember where I got this from. I'll, li I'll link it below. I think it was by someone called like Mullen, M-U-L-L-E-N. And it's basically, they like make it to order. It's so nice though. Appreciate it. No, but it looks amazing with the ceiling rose. It doesn't come down too far, which I think is quite I nice. Think it looks nice with the yeah. wallpaper, but obviously with the wallpaper not really maybe you can't to... really appreciate. I think in the daylight we'll be able to see it more, but yeah. yeah. It's nice. It's very nice. Also, guys, we have brass plug sockets. And they work. Da -da 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 -da. Right, these are the Look how nice they look against the wallpaper. Ignore this here because it needs to be redone. But we also have brass light switches as well. And then in this room, which is the small bedroom, we've gone for another ceiling rose. Robin's idea and then we've just got like a brass kind of bit at the top a gold kind of cable into this really nice white glass pendant light so yeah really really liking that it's really cute hey guys so it is now Friday I have got some jazzy makeup on I've matched my hair with the little mini blue Huda palette I think is it the obsession palette and yeah, and then I've done some cute dots under my eyes. So I'm gonna photograph this look later. I'm in the middle of filming a new look haul, but I've just got a phone call from my delivery driver. We are getting our palm tree Rocket St. George light delivered right now. And so I'm gonna go to the new house, unpackage it and see what it looks like. I'm so excited. It's arrived. It's so tall, it's taller than me. Taller than Robin. It's up. It's looking fab, just need some bulbs now. Ignore the dust. Yeah, ignore all the dust everywhere. It's very dusty, this house. Looks so good. So, just been editing my new look haul, try and haul, tried something different with the layout. Still need to add a few more little bits, but yeah, it's looking good. Use Final Cut Pro to edit if you've not seen me editing on my vlogs before. And yeah, really pleased with how it all looks and just want to add a few more little bits onto the video and then I'm done and it is already live. So do check it out on my channel. I'll pop a link below. Uh, I'm going to drop Robin off at the station now. He's got a stag this weekend. Then I'm going to nip to Dunelm because I'm going to get some bulbs for our palm tree light from Rocket St. George. So I can see what it looks like when it's on. And I'm so excited. And I'll take a pic for Instagram. So just went to Don Elm before I came to the new house because I wanted to find bulbs for the palm tree light. As you can see, I found some and they fitted. Now on the Rocket St. George website, they recommend their bulbs, but they're £42 a bulb. And after spending £600 on the light, I was like, I don't want to spend like another 160 quid on four bulbs. I'm pretty sure that was per bulb and not 42 pounds for all of them either way i've saved money because i bought these from dunelm and they fit perfectly and the same kind of vibe it's going to give this kind of vintagey kind of light yellow light and they were eight pound each seven pound each so yeah really really good i'm gonna put them in and hopefully it lights up and works i don't think you're quite ready to see how amazing this palm tree light is Ah, I'm, you can literally see my breath in here by the way, it's so cold. <sighs> no heating. Uh, plumbers, well gas people were in this morning sorting it all out, but it's not going to be sorted probably for another month I reckon, and then we should have some heating, so we're getting there. But yeah, this corner of my living room, like I love this light is everything, like it is exactly what I wanted, I'm so happy. The living room is slowly coming together. I even put a few little decor bits out that we got from Brighton. I am going to film a homeware haul very soon. Now I've got my little cute corner, I can film here. Um, although it's freezing, but it's fine. I can wear a coat. But yeah. Ah, oh, I can't wait to show you. 
Look at my corner. Please excuse these scuff marks on the wall. I need to wipe the wall from where the electricians messed it up. But oh my God, how epic is this light? It looks so pretty. I love this corner. Just fed the dogs dinner and I'm heading over to my friend Alice's for a catch up with the girls and just a bit of a chilled Friday night. Pizza has arrived. Well, and what's this thing? Chicken mix. This is, there's gonna be a lot of chicken here. Oh, it's not too bad actually. We've got two of those. Oh, they look good, the chicken wings. Hi guys. Oh, it's Saturday and I'm really tired and my throat is feeling a little bit sore today, which is not good. Um, I had to run a few errands this morning. I had to go and get the dogs some food from Pets at Home. Then I had to go get some food myself from Aldi and then I went to B&Q to get some paint and yeah, I'm feeling tired though. But I wanted to go out early because the traffic's always bad on a Saturday, so I got it done. But yeah, I'm quite hungry so I might, might make myself some food and then... I might start watching something on Netflix, if there is anything I can find. Oh God, I'm so tired today. I feel like I might be getting ill or something, I don't really know. Um, I had a nap earlier and yes, not really done me the world of good because halfway through someone knocked at the door and I had to go and answer it and she's throwing me off. Um, yeah, I feel a bit like bleh today, but to make some dinner to hopefully give me some energy to make myself a burger and some chips and yeah i'm just gonna spend the evening in i just watched um abducted in plain sight on netflix which i thought was really interesting it is a documentary it's an hour and a half long and it's basically about this girl that got abducted by a family friend and yeah crazy a lot of people are tweeting sort of blaming the parents i do think i don't think they're at fault i think they 100 percent got manipulated um but i can see why people would blame them but i think in those years when not, nothing like child abduction and kidnapping and things like that and paedophilia happened it was like quite rare and um so yeah, I think if something like that happened today, then the parents wouldn't let it happen to the kid. But back then, you know, but yeah. Um, and now I'm starting to watch the Ted Bundy um, documentary, well, season documentary. But yeah, and then I'll probably end up watching The Voice and stuff tonight and just chilling. Because I am tired, I think you can tell. So as you can see, I'm dressed. And I've got makeup on. Uh, yeah, I'm going out. Um, I feel a lot better after eating. I've got a bit more energy. I still sound ill, but my friend Alice asked me if I wanted to go bowling. And you know how much I love bowling. And I'm not doing anything. And so I thought, do you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go bowling. Um, it's also chucking it down outside, which is not nice. So yeah, I'm going to go bowling. And hopefully it doesn't make me feel worse. But I'm not going to drink or anything. I'll just have a Coke or something. Let's go bowling. Hey guys, so it's now Sunday. I've been bad and I've not vlogged yet. Um, I've literally just been watching Netflix TV series all day. I watched the Ted Bundy documentary, which is really frigging interesting. You need to watch it. I want to talk about it, but obviously I don't want to ruin it for you guys. So watch it. Let me know what you think uh yeah really interesting uh it is about a serial killer and yeah that's pretty much all i've done today caught up with the voice the greatest dancer and now me and robin are heading out to grab a chinese collection we're gonna bring it home can't be bothered to go out and eat but yeah i'm so hungry can't wait so these are our starters we've got asparagus tempura and prawn toast this is my fave dish ever it is duck in like a soy sauce with rice. Oh, dinner was delish. But I'm going to have a bath now and head to bed. But yeah, thanks for watching this week's vlog. And I will see you in another one here very soon. Peace out.